Okay, we're going to go ahead and dismantle this uh, RVI tachometer, ready to put the conversion board in. Uh, I'm not going to cover taking the bezel off, that's the subject of a separate video. So, we remove the bezel, remove the glass, remove the inner bezel, and then to get the movement out, we undo these two screws. Two of the four screws that are on the back. Sometimes the movement sticks in because there's a, a rubber gasket in there. Don't lose the screws, they're brass. Non-magnetic, because it's a magnetic movement. Take the body away. Okay. Now the next thing we've got to do is take the uh, take the needle off. You can do it with two lollipop sticks. But what I use is a bit of printed circuit board here with a slot in. Um, what I do do is I put a piece of paper behind the needle so that when I put the printed circuit board in onto the shaft, like that, it doesn't mark the face. Next job is to use a small screwdriver and undo these screws that hold the dial on. Okay, so I'm keeping all the parts in a box so I don't lose anything. Here's the movement exposed. And you can see we've got to remove these two screws to remove this circuit board, this inner circuit board, which we don't want. One. Two screws undone. Now, I'm going to take those screws out, put them in the box. We're going to cut some wires. Oh, that one doesn't want to come out. There we go. So, the wires we're going to cut are the wires that go from the circuit board to the movement, and the wires that go from the circuit board to the various connectors. On this particular version, you can see it's got these plug-in connectors. We can just disconnect those. And then we need some wire cutters. And I'm going to cut this yellow wire here. This is the power into the board. I'm going to cut the red and black wires. And we've got new new wires are supplied on the uh, conversion board, so I'm going to cut them off fairly short. And there we are. There's the movement, exposed, ready to put the new circuit board on. At this point, you might want to put it inside uh, an ultrasonic cleaner if you've got one. One of the domestic ones will do, just use clean water uh, and then dry it out thoroughly. Okay, that's the end of this video.